What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. Today we're going to take a look at Zechariah packs 1 through 4. All the tables, I believe, all the tables except for the deluxe versions. Uh, so we're going to look at those installed on the At Games Gamer Pro, the At Games Legends Pinball, and the At Games Legends Ultimate. Let's get it started. Zechariah was founded by three brothers, Marino, Franco, and Natalie. It was the third largest manufacturer of pinball machines in the world behind Bailey and Williams. And they created and produced more than 38 different pinball machines between 1974 and 1987. And so they are bringing their tables in conjunction with the Magic Pixel Company to the Legends Pinball. And there's tons here. So just scroll through the list here. They got Solid State Pinball. They got the Electromechanical. They have the Remake Pinball Tables, the Retro Pinball Tables, the Award Pinball Tables, and soon we will have the Deluxe Tables. So there's a lot of tables and these things play very, very well. The mechanics are just fantastic. They're very detailed tables. Very accurate, the customizable physics and the ball movements are just something to see. So we're going to take a look at playing these on my three cabinets. Original table rules, sound effects, and vocals. So as you can see here, we have just installed the Zechariah Tables Bundle volumes one through four on the Gamer Pro. And so, let's press X to close. We'll back up out of here. And these were installed through this uh, App Store X. We uh, went down, we hit the home button and we redeemed our code. And now we've uh, downloaded it. We did have to have a Flash X drive in the USB slot on all the devices that we wanted to load this on. We redeemed the code and now we have access to the pinball tables. So I'm going to go to my games, hit the menu button to get to pinball and that's how I will get over to all of these tables. So now you see here that the Zechariah tables are now available alongside the Gottlieb tables. And so this is the Gamer Pro. So we can get this positioned properly. And so, I better put my glass on this. All right, so there's all kinds of tables. I'm not gonna go through naming all of them, um, but Typically, you'll see some tables where they have different versions. So here, aerobatic, aerobatic, we have aerobatics, we have aerobatics, aerobatics retro. Uh, here we have black belt, black belt 2018, black belt retro. So we're, we're missing the deluxe because normally you'll have those similar uh, tables with the deluxe. So those are going to be released soon. So here we see Circus, Circus 2017, Circus Retro, Clown, Clown 2019, and so on. So we're just going to pick one. And I'm not familiar with any of these tables. So let's just check it, take a look at one of my favorite bands growing up was Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, I'm sure this has nothing to do with that band, but we'll check it out. This is a remake of the original Earth, Wind, Fire table from 1981. 
and has a thing with classical elements featuring five modes. Blah, blah, blah. Hit A to play. Turn our volume up. And now, so this, now this is on the Gamer Pro, and I don't have the ability to rotate the screen. So, this is how I'm, I have it. So I'm going to hit start to play. Something's weird. Oh, okay. I'm just weird. No, 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 no. <laughs> Something's weird here. Well, my buttons are a little off, but let's see if we can play despite this. Now there's a way to switch this so that the default is not in its vertical mode, but this is for people that would um, would have the ability to rotate their, their screen. And so there is a setting to change this. And I'm not gonna worry about changing it here. Uh, I just wanted to show you that you can change the orientation. So I did wanna share, you know, if I did have the ability to rotate my screen, this would, it would be full size like this. There's an option in, you know, in the menus to rotate the actual menu structure. So everything would be rotated and you would have it full screen. It looks fantastic, but my, my uh, computer here does not, my screen, I have no way to rotate this on my current stand um, without just propping it up there against gravity. But let's just start it so you can see. So if, it, if the screen was rotated, I would have a full screen here. You see the DMD is down here on the bottom. In that case with the credits, you know, the graphics is decent enough. So again, if your TV can rotate, you can set this up this way. Quick game. B button to back out. And so that was the option that was available in the everything sideways. So I have to remember how to, tr to navigate. All right. And so I need to go down. And so there's an option to ver to rotate. Oh, come on. Trying to navigate. I guess if I turn my joystick this way, <laughs> so I can be going the same direction. And so, down and over. So that's, that was portrait mode. So if I switch it back, it will have to reboot. And then you can toggle between portrait and landscape. So that is pretty cool. You got your whatever size, whether it's 24 inches or 84 inches or 72 inches, doesn't matter. If you have the ability to rotate it, you can utilize your Gamer Pro or Gamer, Gamer Mini with the pinball buttons um, and be able to view that screen the way that works best for you. All right, see, now everything's back. Now, there's another setting that that allows me to change the settings of that particular pinball game. Pinball settings, is that where it is? And reset all tables. Yep. Classic. 
Uh, display mode. So I think this classic thing up here. How do you get up here? Over, 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 over. Right here. I think cabinet, classic. So it's, if it's set at classic, it should display perfectly. And back about here. Go up to games. Let's just find pinball. Beastmaster. There we go. And so now you can play in landscape mode if you wish. On your on your big screen. So that's it. Uh, because on my Legends Ultimate, we have pretty much the same setup, but it's in the other orientation. So we can do this without having that light in the way. All right. And so I just switched to the views, uh, to the rules screen. Now this is the Zancor 2017 table. So I'll hit home to go back and back up out of it again. And so you can have this orientation on either your Gamer Pro, Gamer Mini, So it plays and feels like pinball. It don't feel any floatiness from the balls at all. It feels like gravi gravity is reacting with this ball. And so you can see the scoreboard up at the top. I'm like, I'm eight bumpers. So you have your nudge buttons to allow you to manipulate the travel of the ball. So all these ramps are lit, so I'm just trying to utilize them as much as I can. Kickback. Uh, And I feel that the games uh, allow for more play. Again, this is one of the more modern of the games, or the versions of the game. It's not the deluxe version, we haven't seen those yet. Got a flipper up there. All right, so you, you get the point. It's enjoyable pinball on the Ek Games Legends Ultimate. The screen is decent enough size for you to uh, 
enjoy playing if you don't have the pinball, the pin, uh, Legends pinball. Kickback. Kickback. Now, with these uh, games, that, that volume is kind of low, so I would have to go to settings and I can change the master volume. You know, override. so it's louder. Let me try it at that. All right, that's good. Back is home. Home. Bridge. No kickback that time. Don't move. Oh, maybe it was kickback. It wasn't kickback, but... So that uh, wasn't centered exactly proper. But let's take a look at some Legends Pinball. So obviously here, you're gonna have the back glass with the DMD for the, the, the newer tables and the 32 inch play field. Let's see if I can position this where you can see. Can't really see everything try at least have you have the DMD and the play field into play just turn that volume down just turn this volume up I can just hold it down without having to press it. All right, we got that up. Let's go home to get back, home to get back. Let's launch the game. So this is Earth, Wind, and Fire. Tower of Bonus. All of the games are skill shots. 1080p, 60 frames per second, no matter which platform you're on. So that's pretty awesome. Now with this Legends Pinball, you have the ability to, uh, you have Tower bonus. nudge the actual machine with the physical machine. You do have nudge buttons. Tower bonus. jumping over here when I nudge the table. Tower bonus. Tower bonus. So it has, uh, you know, 3D toys, they call it, pinball toys. There's a, uh, a package. Tower bonus. Up here, the toy flying horse. There's a tower that got destroyed. Bonus. You got ramp. And of course the DMD. Tower 
your bonus. So this view will just allow you to see the, the DMD. These more modern oh, games oh. with the DMD doesn't look so bad on the yeah, screen. Bonus. Because uh, the DMD is a nice size versus when it has the, bonus. the scores bonus. on the actual back glass. Bonus times two. It's really tiny for the individual scores. So again, I can shake the table, you can see that ball is reacting. Uh -oh, I'm gonna tilt, playing around. So it has a more of an authentic combo feeling. And so it does have the Tower uh, bonus. haptic feedback uh, from the speakers under this board here. I probably need to turn them up a little bit. I can feel those plungers or those flippers. It's not overpowering. It's, I think it's probably just about right. Bonus times three. Tower so bonus. I'm curious as to which setting is on. So I'm going to pause it and go down to settings. And move over to toggle haptics. Select that, medium, medium. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it high. I didn't really see what it was on. The uh, accelerometer sensi sensitivity is at medium and that worked, that's perfect for me. So we have high, the haptic strength is at high. So let's back out of this. Yeah, so that's, that feels better for me. I like that. So, so it got much more strength on those. It's not overpowering. Before their initial update, firmware update, it was like super, super strong. It had like a rattle effect. This feels, this feels nice. So we'll just cycle through a few of these games just to see. Yeah, you know, I can put my name up here. 26 million points. The love is in the house. So we're gonna hit menu and rewind button to quit. Rewind button to go back. And so you see in this mode, you're seeing those tables. So let's just look at the different versions. So obviously some of these games were made absent of a traditional version, I, I imagine, because some don't have a retro version. So I have Future World and they have Future World 2000. 18. So let's take a look at Future World and just see what they have to offer. Oh, a solid state from 1978, it said. So, so that's going to have the scoreboard that has the, the smaller numbers, I would imagine. And again, I'm basing that off of the Gottlieb table. So let's see. Yep. So the, the scores are going to be a little smaller than the DMD would be, right? 
but still readable, but definitely smaller. So this is a little colorful little joker. So this is a 1978 table. I wasn't really playing uh, pinball in the 70s, more over the 80s. And again, none of these tables really, uh, I, I don't have any nostalgic value to, or association with any of these tables. Uh, but pinball's fun, man, so. Once you learn the rules of the tables, that, and, they, and here, these rules are actually uh, pretty readable. They, they're still, they still need to be improved for these cabinets. These games were designed for uh, cell phones. And as such, the screens are so small, you couldn't read the rules anyway. So the rules were more of a placeholder, you know, for nostalgic value and not for actually being able to read them. But now that these games are being made for cabinets with big screens, uh, that's something they're going to have to start uh, thinking about and adjusting. I'm trying to get this. There we go. Get that target. All right, let's go somewhere else. Get up there. Get some action. Okay, so you got to get up that ramp. We can have those circles all disappear. Nope, not like that. I won't. Uh, but it, it feels really good. I mean, it feels it real. It feels really good on all of the cabinets. Uh, obviously, this is the best experience because you have the haptic feedback. You have the ability, the accelerometer, to actually. N uh, nudge the um, to nudge the table and have it ball respond like that. See that? You know, that's that's a huge part of pinball. Finding that sweet spot where you can nudge it without tilting. So even though these are, this is an older table, this is. This is uh, fun. It's not my boy Spider-Man, you know. But people, uh, friends and family that come, as well as you, over to your home and walk up to this and start playing it, are, are definitely going to enjoy uh, the experience. No doubt about it. All right, I think, I think we got enough of this guy. So this was the regular version. So we're going to exit. Quick game. Back. And so that was the future world, but we're going to do future world 2018. Kind of get an idea of what's changed. This is a remake of the original from 1978. It has an outer space theme with five modes, 10 times bonus, multiply. Uh, get that out of there. All right, so let's launch it. So it's added some vocal samples and things like that that wasn't available. Uh, again, this is a Magic Pixel. Magic Pixel has made these tables available. Uh, oh, well, yeah. That looks uh, considerably different, <laughs> considering it's the same table, right? And so it has the DMD now, instead of the four individual scores. This long set plunger feels really nice. Oh, you got that, got that, um, that, uh, I can't even think of the word here. The flipper over on the right side, uh, then I, then I blew it, that can try and save the ball. Kill shot.
Oh, ball save. Don't move. I get the lay of the land here. Spinner score. Ramp. Loop. Loop. The loop. Spinner score. Multiplier. Saw that flipper come in hand to hand, handle coming to play there. Oh, a little too hard for that. Ball catch. Lock is lit. I don't know where lock. Oh, there it is, right there in the center. Need this. Pump. I need to get this ball locked in that center. Oh, oh just missed it. Missed it again. Ball save is lit. What was that? Okay. I have to try and get that ball. Oh, come on. Now let me see if the uh, shaking the table can get me the bounces over to the other side, almost. Yeah, come on. There we go, I saved it. That, that, that ball has to be a little bit higher. There we go. Oh. That lock, it's got to come from that direction, apparently. There we go. Come on, there we go. Ah. That's a come on. I'm gonna get this ball on the this side often. Okay, here we go. Let's get this. Ah. Oh, well. All right, but you see what you see. This is uh, some pretty good pinball. Let's exit out and quit the game. Uh, so let's just look at a few more. Again, I am not familiar with most of these games, but I mean, this is modern. I mean, 2018, they've, that's pretty recent that they've made some changes to these things. Mexico. And Mexico retro. Let's let's see the difference between some of these the retro version. So this is Mexico, and this was from 1986. Let's back up, and this is the retro version. Is a retro version of the original 86 table from 1986. As the soccer world championship thing. So let's take a look at the retro version. Mexico 86 retro. Oh boy, now that is pretty retro. You see how wide the gap is between those. Um, those flippers and just in case you didn't know they were flippers they if you like me and keep trying to say something different they have the name flipper on it so you don't have any problems identifying what they are got that back in here to get shot back up there we've got that oh oh Utilizing the ability to shake the machine. Uh -oh. Keep away from those edges because the edges are dangerous in the center, obviously. The center is dangerous like that. Um, uh, we wanted that A or the G. There we go. We got the A. So now we can try and get this G. 
way too hard, but that, oh, no. Oh, boy. All right. So you see, because those are, you know, they're still digital, but if they're um, emulating a mechanical score, it's a little bit bigger than those digital, digital versions were. So we saw this retro version. So let's just take a look at, at the, the normal version and see how that changed. from the original table. Mexico 86. Now it did say the retro, oh, oh they, did they make a, a older version from the original version? I, I think that's what it's saying. So this one's a little, actually better. I thought the retro would be, well, yeah, so the retro is like the old, old version. That's the electromechanic goal, where this is the solid state. Uh, so it's just a matter of understanding the naming conventions for these games. Uh, so the theme of the game is the same, whereas soccer or, or football, like they'll call it over there in, the, in Europe and other parts of the world. So we got to see where are we trying to go with this thing. Jump over that hole. So I don't know what came first, the, the chicken or the egg, with his naming conventions just yet. This, these are all new to me. Oh, I see you got those tab, those targets that are blocking entryway. You gotta clear those targets. ball back through there or is that one way oh come on i've got to nudge the table so i'm just going to zoom in on the ball on the, the imagery so this is old school but the graphics are nice looking nothing Nothing too crazy because it's a retro or you know an older table. But let's let's go back to one of the more modern games, which uh, and oh that would be the ones that have like a more a year in the title. So we'll launch that. This is a remake of a 1977 table. Noculus remake. Noculus remake. And just going to look at the quality of the actual tables. Not bad, very clear, legible. Look at that little toy. Looks pretty cool. Look at that octopus. Here's the instructions I was telling you. Those are readable. So you know how to play the game without having to click on home and actually go to the rules here, which would be more of a text, a text version, All right? So number one, shoot again. So I guess we are missing, we are missing some instructions there. That number one is kind of, is missing altogether. The top of that card is missing. So it should be a number one there, but it starts at number two through four. We're missing part of five. And so that's why they have, there's five, there's one. So they have the instructions provided another place. Be nice if they, oh, oh no, I'm sorry. It's not, it's not covering it. That's only because I'm not in a game. Sorry about that. So let's get back, let's start a game. Yeah, so I apologize for that. Yeah, so you can see the full car is all legible, but you can access it through the menu as well. 
three go three balls per game. So pretty, pretty good. Again, if I nudge the table, you know, I'm getting a, I'm snudging it from side to side. See there, so that's, it's going to the side. If I nudge it up, it's going up. So the accelerometer works pretty good. I can't get you to, uh, you know, feel the, the haptic feedback, but trust me, it is there. There's the back glass. On the V2 cabinet, I wish they would get rid of this logo, this marquee, that's not necessary, and just put a bigger screen that takes up this whole area, right? And then instead of this logo here, put your DMD here, that would be awesome. This That would make this table, oh, so much better. Um, but as it is, this is really, really good. The Gottly tables are a little drifty, floaty, you know, uh, feels like a, a programmer told the ball where to go when it touched certain things or went in a certain direction. This feels like a, a pinball. That that ball has a little noise on it. Um, but but it looks nice. You can see the reflection uh, from that green light going under that uh, flipper and reacting to, and the ball reacting to it is, is now out and that light is no longer. Being reflecting on that, as the ball moves through there, it definitely reacts to the environment and can't, can't really get you to you know, the ball doesn't really slow down enough up there to, to show that to you. But these tables are very nicely done. You will not be dissatisfied whether you plan on any of these cabinets. These games play very nicely. So obviously it looks a lot better on the actual Legends Pinball, but it doesn't look bad on these other platforms. And so if you have no interest, you know, no uh, funds to be able to get the pinball table, or you have a different pinball table and you, you, you want, and you have the Legends Ultimate and you want to be able to place a pinball on here, you have that option. So this is pretty darn cool. What do you guys think? So this again, if you could rotate your TV, you could have this thing huge and playing from your Gamer Pro. I'd like to hear from you guys. What do you think about these tables? Ah. Uh, did you guys buy the packs, game packs? One, two, three, did you get all four? Um, have you received your pinball table? These games are gonna be available on March 10th. March 10th, 2021. These games are gonna be available. And so I'm assuming if you purchased it on the uh, National Owner's Day, I'm assuming you're gonna get an email with your activation code. Let me know what you guys think about having these options to be able to play. Now, with these tables, you do have to uh, lock it to one machine. And so, I don't know if um, 
if you buy all four tables, can you download some table, like pack one on here and pack two on there and pack three on there? I'm not sure about that. I'll have to ask. Um, but pretty cool. Let me know in the comments, man. Please like the video. Please share the video. Other people you know that's looking to get the pinball uh, tables or to buy the Legends pinball, please share the video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that button now. It takes a few seconds, doesn't cost you anything, but it definitely means a lot more to me than to you. And I appreciate you supporting the channel by allowing me to move up the ranks in, uh, in the YouTube world because without those subscriptions, uh, you just remain a little fish in a big pond. So I appreciate you guys. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Until next time, I'll see you on the web. did mention that you need to have a USB drive on your devices in order to download and store these games. You don't need a huge one. You don't have to have a huge, these things take up very little space. So any USB that you can come across, you will be able to use. And it works with a single um, partitioned drive. So if you take a look at my video, if you don't know how to do that, because you can, you can do this two two ways. You can have two separate uh, USB drives, one for the Flash X and one for the um, the CoinOps X. But if you choose to have one device for both purposes, it will work. Because I have a single drive on all of my devices, and it works just fine. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. Until next time. I'll see you on the web.